Hey everybody, Rudy here from Take a Bath Productions with another video showing you how to fix various things. Today I'm standing on location at beautiful Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. It's about 85 degrees this morning with a nice breeze and I'm standing here looking at the beach and the ocean doing its thing. It looks great. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and program this Beam 6 device smart remote control. I'm going to show you how to set devices into the remote and I'm going to test the remote for you and I'm going to make it real easy for you. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, first things first, you're going to want to install the batteries and make sure that they are good and fresh. The remote may not program correctly unless you have good batteries in there. They just go under the back cover right here. It takes four AAA batteries. And if you're interested in knowing where the model number to the remote is, it's on a sticker on the side right here. I don't need to take the batteries out to show you, but that's where the model number is at in case you're interested. I wanted to mention something about the buttons on the remote. As you can see here, we have an apps button. This is used to access the apps on your smart TV like YouTube, Hulu, Netflix, etc. And also, if you want to use these customizable colored buttons, you can use these to access your apps directly. Uh, for example, again, like your Netflix or your Hulu, you can program these from your original TV remote so that you have direct access to those, or you can just use these to um, control your favorite functions on your original remote that aren't represented on this Beam remote. So that's a pretty nice feature right there to be able to uh, customize those. So there's actually three ways to program the remote. One, by using the smartphone app. I'm not going to be covering this for time's sake. Uh, the reviews on the app are terrible anyways. I tried the app and I also found it to be, we'll just say, lacking. Two, you can also enter codes directly, either from the included list, or I will include a link in the description to the codes and the manual, which I have right here. And three, you can also teach the codes to the remote but you have to have your original remote to do this. Um, also, you can teach the remote as a supplement to a code that only functions a little bit. Like for example, you have uh, power and volume, but no channel up or down or no input or something like that. You can supplement that by adding those functions from your original remote. If you don't have your original remote, that's not gonna do you any good at all. We're gonna start off by entering the codes. I'm going to be programming in a Sony Smart TV, a Bose soundbar, and a Roku streaming device. There are up to six devices that you can control, but I'm only going to use three for the examples for this video. So we'll input the TV first. Press and hold the program button right here until the power light stays on. Okay, it's on. Enter the uh, device category among the six. We're going to be doing a TV right here, and then enter the code. Three, five, three, six. The power light went out and we had a beep. If you, if the power light stays on and you get like three beeps, you've entered an invalid code. So you're gonna to wanna to try that again. Make sure you have the right code. And you're gonna to wanna to do this next step for anything that you're gonna program. You're gonna test the code to see if it functions as expected. If it doesn't, try another code. If you've used up all the codes, you can use your original remote to enter in whatever functions may be missing. That's what I was talking about earlier about teaching the remote. Okay, so on to the Bose soundbar. Pro press program. Red light's gonna come on. Press audio. And the code is 2025. 2025. And I've already tested that code and it does work. And for the Roku, much of the same thing. Press program. Stream, and the code for Roku is 3525. 
All right, so that's about it for the codes. Just do the same thing for any of the other devices you want to program into the remote. And then, like I said before, test the codes and make sure they work. If they don't work as expected or they only work a little bit, moving on to this next section, I'm going to show you how to teach the remote using your original remote. Moving on to the learning and teaching method. When all else fails, this should work as long as you have your original remote. Um, I want to note that by using this method, you can't teach the device category buttons. You can't teach the custom colored buttons, the program button, favorite, or these activity buttons here. Those buttons are not teachable, but any of the other buttons, they are teachable. All right, so press and hold the program button till the light stays on. Press the device button that you want to use. We're going to use TV in this example. And now enter 8888. Eight, eight, eight. All right. Got a beep. Press the button that you want to program to. We're just going to use volume up for this example. All right. Now press and hold the corresponding button on the original remote. All right. That's it. That, that button is programmed. Now, just for example, if you want to add more buttons, you don't have to start this all over again. Just press another button. We're going to use volume down just for this example. Volume down. Volume down. All right. That's it. You can just do that for as many as you want. Mute. Mute. All right. That's it. So once you're done and you're satisfied with the buttons that you programmed, just press program and that'll end the cycle. Remember that while you're doing the teaching method to uh, put them in the configuration that I just had with the remotes head to head, no more than one inch away from each other. Now, if you're uh, programmed in those buttons and you want to delete what you've just done uh, to delete the copied buttons, all you have to do is press program. Device category, again, we're going to use TV because that's the one I just programmed in. And then type in 8881, and now press 0. All right, that's it. Those buttons that I just put in there are all deleted. You can also program in activities using these buttons right here. Um, this lets you control two or more devices at the same time using these activity buttons. I'm not going to cover that so the video doesn't get too long. Um, you can look that procedure up in the manual, either with the one that came with the remote, or if you've lost it, I'm going to include a link in the description, as I mentioned earlier. Now, onto these custom colored buttons right here. As I said, these would be good buttons for some of your favorite buttons from the original remote that aren't represented on the Beam remote, or you can use it to directly access your TV's uh, apps like Netflix, Hulu, whatever. All right, so these will work regardless of what device category is selected and controlling the device. So that's a really nice feature. So to get started, you're going to press and hold the custom button that you want to program to. We got our beeps. Now press the corresponding button on the original remote. Press and hold it. All right, that's it. Now just say we want to use this green one. It doesn't matter. All right, I just used enter just as an example, just to show you that's all it takes to, uh, to program those. So it's a pretty neat feature. So there's one more important feature I want to show you called the volume lock. Um, this can lock your remote's uh, volume controls to your specific device, like your audio amplifier, for example. That way you're not switching back and forth between TV and audio every time you want to control the volume. So it's a really uh, useful feature in that respect. All right, to enable this, press and hold program till the red light stays on. Press the device that you want to lock the volume to, audio. Press volume up, and then OK. All right, the volume is locked to the audio amplifier. If you want to disable that, if you want to go back to TV volume, press your program button. volume down, and then OK. And that's it. That's disabled. It's gone back to uh, TV volume. So one more thing. If you feel like you've just messed everything up and you want to start over and do a factory reset, 
press and hold program. Red light comes on, press info, and OK. That's it. It's factory resetted. Well, now it is. All right, that's about it, guys. If you've enjoyed this video, click on that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I come out with videos like this just as often as I can. Thanks for watching.